Hey guys, Cryptograns here. Um, so this is episode 2.6, but I want to make a little clarification with the list I made in the previous two videos. So if you guys don't remember me creating this upgrade check method, I used a ref term here. So this is a mistake here because we don't need to use this ref term when we're passing in lists. The reason why is because basically what the ref does is that we're changing what the variable references to. And in this case, we're changing the contents of the list not the actual reference itself. So we are changing what's inside of the list and we're not changing the list itself. So we can just simply get rid of this ref term and we're gonna have to do the same thing in our upgrades manager. Another thing is this create list method. You can keep this if you want to, but there's another way of doing this. What we can do is actually just create a new big double array and then just convert that to a list. Just a heads up, this requires the system.link namespace. And then what we do instead is that we just put our size in here, which in our case was four. So in our methods, we can also do list equals new, new t array to list. And then we just put in our size in here and this will be our length. This works exactly the same thing as our create list method that we use here. So it's your choice. And also don't forget to do the same thing down here. Now to double check, see if that works, we're gonna play it real quick. Cool. So yeah, it works just fine. It's exactly the same thing, like I said. It's just that we're creating an empty array and we're converting it to a list. So one final thing I'm going to do real quick is to change this big double into an int. You can even make it a long if you want to, but I'm just going to make it an int because I don't really expect levels to be ginormous. Now the reason why I'm making this an int is because our click upgrade levels are just going to be a whole number. And I don't really expect these to go very far. If you expect them to go really big, such as like the, I don't know, just really big numbers, then you can change this variable. But just know that once you change this variable type here, your save system will not recognize that. So you'll want to make sure to choose early and yeah. And we also need to change our type right here. So we're basically creating a new int list. Anyways, I'm really sorry for the confusion in the last two episodes. And I know I made some mistakes, but I did more research and now I completely understand. It's kind of the consequences of learning on your own. You, you kind of just forget some things, if that makes sense. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope this video was helpful and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.